hello guys today in this video I am going to demonstrate how we can create route in the node.js project and here I am using the TypeScript for creating the uh, project with the node so to do that let me first go ahead in the src folder and here I will create a, fol a folder here and I will name it as routes and inside this I will create a file which is called index.ts okay and I will also create one more file let me first go ahead here so I will also create one more file which is called your routes.ts so I will explain here that why I am creating these files okay so here you can see index.ts so this is the main file which will manage the routes so to let me first copy the code here so I have copied few line of code and you can see here this file is not recognizing this user router so I first need to create this user router okay so to create the user router I need to go in this file and here I will create the user router so here again I need to um, like copy and paste so here you can see <coughs> I am again using the express for request and response which I am already using in index which is main file of our project right but here I am not using the route but you can see I am here using the express route I mean, that means route I am using which is available inside the express and here I have created that router as a user router const and that const I am using here for the implementation of this complete path okay and you can see here this user route is defined here okay I am calling this because this is at the same in the inside the same folder that's why I am just using this to import the user router here and again here I am also using the router to manage the routing so you can see here again the this router is also defined here and here I am passing the user that means user will be bound and and let me uh, do one more thing clear here like I need to use this like router this route router here basically inside this main index.ts file so here I need to so here I need to import so I will import here routes so you can see routes is the folder name which I have just imported here so inside this folder everything will be accessible so let me use here the mid basically this is the middleware what I have just created this is a middleware because I am exporting it the router this is the this is the routes which I am exporting this middleware I am exporting and this is also another middleware which is called user router that means router this this router or this route is only defined for the user that means we can use all the user related implementation and functionalities here in the user router.ts so everything will be implemented here which relates to the user so let me go again here in uh, in the main index.ts file and here i will use this middleware app.use and inside this it will be routes and that's it so these three things what I need to do to create the router so here I have created the basic router for uh, usage right so now what it will do let me first run this project so as you can see this is the typescript for you that's why I first need to compile the code and the new code will be uh, automatically created here in the dist folder as a javascript so let me first compile it here and to compile this code I will run npm run build and if you are unaware about this command npm run build 
then you must check the other earlier videos of this uh, this uh, like tutorial session or let me also clarify just few things here you can find this command here npm run start dev and build build will run the tsc hyphen p command hyphen p dot to compile or to convert the code from typescript to javascript and the code will be placed inside the dist folder from source folder okay as a javascript and this is the dev environment which we can run directly the typescript code and this is the main thing what i will use or i use to run the project in javascript so let me close this and now i will run our project in javascript using npm start so this will run the dist index folder you can see this is running the dist index folder that means this is the index.js file that means it is running the javascript code and you can see now it is listening at port number 3000 that means this is going to be the base url of this project right this is the base url and this is the user's root what i have just created here you can see here this is the root i just created and inside this root when i will press f12 then it will take me to here okay and here you can see this is the simple implementation there is nothing to find here this is just root url and inside this i am accepting request and sending the response so inside the response here is a json string called ok so now let me click on here send and this is get type of api you can check here this is the get api and i will just click on send and you can see i got the 200 ok status response and here i am getting the string as ok what i have just defined here ok that is cool ok now what i will do i will shift this you can see here app dot get i will shift this code line from here to the uh, let me first copy this code okay so i have just copied it here and i will put it here inside the user route.ts file so now let me uncomment this code so i have paste it here all these codes are here now okay and now what i need to modify here i need to use this user router okay and i have just used it and also i need to use mysql so what i will do i will go to index.ts file this is the main file and from here i will use this import mysql i need to import okay and that's I, I am importing this and you can see now there is no error here okay and here again it is using as it expected as it should be okay so now let me also put here the semicolon so now we can use this details or id api to get the user id and let me also do the same with the another uh, the like register app, app register app so let me copy this from here and here i am commenting the same and here i will paste it and here i need to use user router okay and here this is the register api created so now i will use this line of code to register the user in the system so now let me run this project again so i will first press ctrl c and then press y to stop this project and now i will compile the project again using npm run build and 
after this I will run the project again using npm run start and now I will go ahead and register a user first so now I will go ahead and create a new API uh, like new API here API example here okay and I will rename it as register user okay and here I will go in the body and here I need to modify so let me check what it should be so now it should be the name of register because here it is register okay and this is not basically the register it will be only here it will be basically register will come after the user because inside this index everything is user and after that user it will come the register okay and now here you can see the the request what i need from the uh, from the api request or request body there are three things here one is email phone and the password i need to send these three things to successful register the user so i will go ahead here and copy the email first okay so yeah here i will use the dummy email yapmail.com and then it should be the phone okay so i will just add the phone and now i need to put here the phone number of 10 digit i think it is more than 10 digit okay so now i will add the last parameter here is the password and i will again put it here and the password is password at one two three okay so this is the information and now i will go ahead and click on send and now let's see uh, i have open also having here the database so you can see okay the user is already registered with the name of rajans kumar at yopmail.com so now let me let me do one thing here i will put here one okay now the, it is different okay so also i need to change here it post because this is the post api means it is expecting the post okay so here it is the post so i need to change it in post and now i will click on send here and you can see now it i have got the response success with the status code 200 okay status and now i will go to database and i will click here and now you can see I have got the new user rajanskumar1 at yopmail.com with the password where, what I had, had just supplied here. So like this you can configure the route and also I need to uh, use this API to get and again here what I need to do I need to go ahead in the implementation and check what I am expecting here. So here you can see it is it should be like this after user it should be details so first I need to put here users and here it will be details and then here it should here will be details and then here it should be the ID and the ID of the database is here these are the ID so let me here select 5 as id so i have put here five and i need not to send anything in the request body because this is the get request so now i will click on send and you can see i have got the information the single information okay and actual data is coming inside the data array 
and you can see it right so like this you can use uh, the router in your project in your node.js project with typescript i have used it and i will keep uh, creating more videos because this is the again the next part of library management system so now i will refresh all the codes and i will create a database related to the lms or library manage library management system so that is all for now in this video thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel bye bye